All right, guys, hello and welcome to Elite Fitness and Nutrition. This is going to be our cardio circuit training online day two. All right, so you're gonna start this workout, of course, by doing your normal rolling out and then getting into your general mobility warm up. Okay, now remember, this warm up is slightly different. So you're either doing the 10 yard warm up, which you've seen in the previous videos, cardio videos, or you're gonna do the same general mobility warm up that you see at the top of the YouTube page that's on all of our foundations of strength too. But if, even if you do that one, I'm gonna show you this one thing, just remember you add at the end. So after you're done doing your leg swings and you're ready to start this workout, you're gonna see I already have my course kind of set up. So Scott's gonna come over here. I've got my dot drill. So I've got my markers or my pieces of tape set up for my dots. Okay, I've got my medicine ball over here and I've got, I've got my area for my step ups. Okay, I'm gonna just, I can go anywhere down to the floor obviously for my leg raises, for my abs. And then I've got my cones set up, my zigzag. One, two, three, four, and five cones in a zigzag. The idea here is that I start with this cone and I walk at about a 45 degree angle, 10 steps. I step my cone down. I go this way, I walk 45, and I've done mine smaller. Mine's only five steps, okay, just for demonstration purposes. But you're gonna have 10 steps if you can make manage that. If not, as close to that as you can get is fine. All right, so once you're done, you should have a nice straight line of three cones right here, and then obviously two cones on the other side. So once I'm done with my leg swings, I'm going to use these three cones for my final part of my warm up, which is going to very simply be high knees from the first cone to the second cone, and then butt kicks from the second cone to the third cone. As I'm setting this up, I'm real, I'm checking my angles and making sure they're kind of even. So if you have to make any adjustments. So remember, we're on the balls of our feet. We're just gonna pick our knees up, lean forward, get lots of reps, doing some high knees, keeping my elbows bent as I swing, and then my butt kicks. Making sure I curl my heels right up under my butt, and I'm not back here, but I'm right up underneath, okay? Once you get to the end, we're gonna shuffle, okay? You're gonna shuffle down, nice and easy, right here. All the way to the end, just loosen it up, and then you're gonna shuffle back. Notice how I'm staying on my toes, I'm staying squared up. I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm not out of control, all right? Then I'm just gonna do a nice, easy sprint back pedal here. So I got my front foot, my knee is slightly bent. I'm just gonna take off, run to the top, break it down, lean forward, nice little backward run. And I'm gonna do one more of those. I'm gonna bring the other leg forward and go again. To the top, and then lean forward as you back pedal, all right? And you'll see here in a minute why we just did that. Okay, so let's run through, let's run through the workout. We've got our dot drill, all right? So remember, just like on the line drill, this is for reps. Feet to the outside, middle, outside. One, as fast as you can go, I'm kind of keeping my hips over my center of gravity over that middle dot. So when I'm back here, I'm kind of forward. When I'm up here, I'm kind of backwards a little bit. So I'm really shifting my body. One, two, three, four. Okay, just like that, doing your reps. Then you're going right into med ball, under hand toss. Good squat position. This is just our kettlebell or medicine ball squat right here. So butt back, abs tight, chest up, and I'm gonna hold it down. I'm just gonna squat up and throw that thing as high as I can. I want to, as I come up, let my elbows bend and keep that medicine ball close to my body. If you don't have a medicine ball, you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you're just gonna double the reps and hold on to it. So whatever your reps are, double it and just hold on to it. Right here, all right? So if you have a book, something you can't necessarily throw, that's all you gotta do. All right, once you've done your reps there, you're going right to your step ups, okay? The higher the step, the harder it is. I wanna find a step that's challenging, but I can do one thing, number one, is making sure that my back leg stays straight. So if I'm way up here in a nice deep step up, I don't wanna have to vault off that back leg. That doesn't really do a whole lot. What I wanna do, like a 
pull myself up on that front leg, pulling up. So I can work my way down deeper as long as I can keep my good posture, continue to pull myself up. So that's a great way to make your step up more challenging without adding weight, okay? So once you're done with your step up, you've got single leg raise. So we've been working on the regular leg raises on the foundations of strength, so we're just gonna add a little twist. So hands under the butt, chin tucked in, lower back pressing the ground. I'm doing all my reps on one side, and then I'm switching, and I'm doing the other side, and then I'm relaxing, okay? I'm going on the next thing. Now, if I wanna make that more challenging, remember, just bring your hands out. Do all your reps, and then switch to the other side. Okay, finally, we got our zigzag drill. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a sprint and a sprint shuffle. So every time you're gonna kind of alternate. So this first one, I'm just gonna run down and back and then I'm done. I'll go on to round number two. When I get back to this on round number two, I'll do the second technique and I'll show you that right now. So the first one, we're just gonna sprint. So I wanna run as fast as I can but I wanna stay tight to these cones and nice straight lines. So I'm running, I'm breaking it down kind of lower in my level, I'm gonna turn. To turn, all I'm gonna do is plant my outside foot and get a little step toward the cone. So plant and step. Break it down, plant and step. Plant and step. And then you can kind of, you wanna to try to get up into some extension. So as you run, this isn't very long, so I can't really get a whole lot of speed going, but I wanna to try to accelerate. Break it down, accelerate, break it down. Nice and controlled, all the way to the end there, okay? So that was, that was your full rep. So you would obviously go right now back to your dot drill, okay? The other technique is going to be a sprint shuffle. So second time around, sprint, break it down. Shuffle on my toes, square up, just like we warmed up. Sprint, shuffle. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm making sure I have a good controlled plant on that outside leg. So as I sprint, break it down, good plant into my shuffle. Boom. Good plant into my sprint. Right there, okay? Right there through the end. So, how many rounds can you get through? All right, so remember week one is 16 minutes. Week two is 18, week three is 18, week four is 20 minutes. Every time it gets a little longer, pay attention to your chart. Because remember, the reps change as the weeks go on. All right, guys, good luck. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.